Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a little extra insight into the power of the particle system when you use it in conjunction with nodes. This is really powerful. So let me just, I'm working within cycles right here, and I have a basic object, that's my cube object that I'm actually emitting from the particle. My particle is right back here. In fact, let me step back into the scene, and you'll see that right there, there's my emitter right there, and I'm just sending out this cube like this. Well, if you notice the color right here is changing. It's going from this darker color to a very bright color as the particles are getting sent out. Well, that in, in and of itself is really powerful and really useful instead of just putting out a single color. Single colors could be uh, kind of, well, they're not that exciting. Or, of course, let me show you something else real quick. Here's a particle. Here's a simple particle system that just is emitting multiple colors. Notice there's a smooth gradient between green and blue and then a rapid shift between the blue and the red like that. All right. Well, that's one way to take advantage of these. And here's another way by actually changing the intensity of the color. And I'm not going to cover this in any great detail in this lesson because I'll have an entire uh, intermediate tutorial series that covers particles and the reason being is that the field of computer graphics is becoming quite competitive and if you want to have a significant advantage in the industry you need a couple of things one is you either have to be a super duper illustrator and to get the attention of people or the other way is you have to be great at programming and math and that gives you a, an advantage as well so and so that's why within my tutorial series on particles I cover it mostly through uh, math and programming and but so but for those of you who want to try and figure it out on your own I'll kind of give you the basic setup so here's my this is the object here and here's the node set up for it. it's just the material and I'm going through a mix shader though I'm only using one of the colors and then I have this particle info node and that is just down here add input here particle info and then I have it directly connected from the age to this factor input right here and so that allows this basically it's saying as the age evolves age of the particle evolves make it more and more towards this color that's why when you're down here and the age of the particle is very low it's only a fraction of this color All right. so there's a lot of other things you can do to change it but even this effect by itself is really useful. Now let me show you one more little node I'll put in here. I have this other node. It says multiply. This is actually a math node. And I can just put it right in here like this. And now what I'm saying is go from the age and maybe multiply it by 2. And you can see the intensity is increased. It's essentially doubled for every location along the way because I've just multiplied it by 2 as I put it in here and that's a math node. Well there's a lot of other options within here you can use but you notice this is here's all your trig functions well I know a lot of animators and illustrators who don't want to deal with trig functions but that's the kind of stuff that I deal with in my tutorial series so and that gives you a lot more control over your particle system to do some really fun stuff. So um, I think that's it for this tutorial because my voice is cracking today. I can feel it. So uh, low-key on the tutorials for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.